What's up everybody? I'm John Hoover. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, big day, really, really, really big day. The Oklahoma Sooners got the verbal commit they've been waiting for. How about this? I also got a few others, but boy, you talk about fireworks. Find more of my work videos as well as the written word at Sports Illustrated Affiliate SI Sooners, allsooners.com, where I'm the publisher, and we upload, you know, a handful of stories, videos every day related to the Oklahoma Sooners, literally every day. But first, if you like this video, please go ahead and like it. I do hope you subscribe and leave me a comment down below so we can discuss. For a small YouTuber like me, you know, it makes a big difference. You can also find me on Twitter at John E. Hoover and on Facebook at John E. Hoover Media. Okay, let's get to it. Caleb Williams has committed to Oklahoma. Incredible. Just, you know, another five-star quarterback going to give Lincoln Riley a chance to develop his really prodigious skills. No big deal, right? Uh, I got to say now, I haven't covered really in my career a ton of recruiting over the years. I came up, you know, kind of a traditional newspaper guy, and we always had people cover recruiting for us. You know, the experts, like fringe members of society. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But really... Those people who devote their lives to covering college recruiting, they're kind of like wrestlers. They're pretty normal, you know, mostly. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, but seriously. The ones who are good at it, the ones who do it with integrity and respect for the kids, and really respect for the news gathering process, those are the people that impress me. Those are the people that are super important to the rest of us. And one of those recruitniks, as I've always kind of called them, is my man Parker Thune. He's a deputy editor for me at SI Sooners, and he spent three and a half days in Nashville this past week watching Caleb Williams, evaluating 20 high school quarterbacks from around the country, and Parker did some great work. You want to check it out, SI Sooners, allsooners.com. So Parker's a broadcast journalism student at OU, and he brought with him his roommate, Spencer Forsyth, and Spencer shot a ton of video of Caleb this week at the Elite 11 Finals, which if you read SI Sooners, then you already know that Caleb Williams was the MVP of the Elite 11 this week and really, to me, solidified his spot as the number one quarterback in the country in the 2021 class. Here's some stuff for you to know about Caleb. He's six foot one, 210 pounds, and the experts compare him to Donovan McNabb. I think that's an absolute spot-on comparison. He is athletic. He can do some things running around, moving around. But the bottom line is this. He's got an absolute rocket of an arm. He trusts it. He's got a very compact delivery. He's got a quick release. He throws tight spirals, and he's just really accurate. So, you know, if you think about it in that vein, he's a lot like Spencer Rattler. Although I think he's probably slightly more athletic than Spencer, but I'd give Spencer a slight edge in the arm strength department. So let's talk about that angle real quick. Spencer Rattler comes in the 2019 class. We presume he's going to win the job in 2020, assuming there's a college football season, right? And we assume that he's going to be the starter in 2021. The timeline works out pretty well here. Caleb has got to going to get to Norman in 21. He's going to sit for a year. He's going to learn under Rattler. And then I'm sure Rattler's plans are what? To get to the NFL as quickly as possible, right? Assuming he has a couple of big years and wins the Heisman Trophy and wins a couple of Big 12 titles, right? Right? Then, you know, after that, he'll be eligible to go to the draft in 2022. Caleb red shirts in 21, at least backs up Spencer. Then he jumps into the starting job in 22, holds it down for a couple of years, and then, you know, he wins a Heisman and a couple of Big 12 titles, right? I mean, and then he goes to the draft, number one pick, right? I mean, we all, he, all we have to go on here is recent history, so that's what I'm going on. Anyway, if Rattler doesn't go to the draft early and sticks around, yeah, things could get interesting. But just remember that now, Kyler Murray came to OU to play two years, and before he got his first year, Baker Mayfield got his fifth year reinstated, which made Kyler have to sit for a year. Wasn't ideal, but hey, didn't work out too bad. So if you believe the headlines, Caleb chose Oklahoma over LSU and Maryland. I think we all know that Maryland wasn't a real player here. Mike Loxley's a heck of a recruiter in the Terps. Sure, they're Caleb's hometown school. But with all due respect, the, the best quarterback in the country isn't going to play at a school that really has trouble going to bowl games. Caleb has said, he wants to win championships. He wants to win a national championship. And fact is, he's going to do his part, he says, to lead the Sooners' recruiting efforts in this area. 
And then when Garrett Nussmeyer committed to LSU a couple months back, I think that was really the handwriting on the wall for Caleb Williams that he would definitely be a Sooner. That's when we saw it coming. Now, Caleb, to his credit, he wrote a weekly blog, a journal, every week for SI All-American, and you can find them all at SI Sooners, allsooners.com. Caleb maintained pretty much through to the end that all three schools were still in the running. It was like a really good pump fake, right? A lot of people didn't buy it, though, because... Fact is, there have been rumors out there for a while now that Caleb was a silent commit. That is, he basically told Lincoln Riley, hey, Lincoln, don't worry, I'm coming to OU, but please don't tell anybody. I want to write this weekly blog for SI All-American, and I want to go to the Elite 11 finals with people wondering what's going to happen in my future, and I want to prove myself, but, you know, boomer, but let's keep it a secret. That's, I guess you can respect that. You you, you go through this recruiting stuff only one time in your life if you're if you're his age, well, twice if you stick your head in the transfer portal. And, but hey, if you're the number one quarterback in the country, why not enjoy every minute of it? And I think Caleb really has. Now, here's the thing on recruiting. Some other players committed to the Sooners today. Some were expected to commit and did not. Did a little switcheroo. Some are going to wait a little bit longer. And that's all fine because we're going to get to them all in good time. Today was about the quarterback, and I'm telling you, this kid can flat out play football. Sooner Nation is going to love Caleb Williams. If you want to read more on Caleb from me, from Parker, or if you want to watch Spencer's videos, check out SI Sooners, all Sooners. Com. Remember, all of our content is free, and we have a community you can join. It's just like a message board, so jump in there. It's going to be fun. That's it for today. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Leave a comment down below or share it on social media. Be sure and tag me. Follow me on Twitter at John E. Hoover or on Facebook at John E. Hoover Media. SI Sooners, allsooners.com. Thanks for watching. See you guys.